Hi there, it's Jamie from Pixel Discoveries, and today we're going to explore Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, many fans of the game probably completed it to the very end, finding every item and completing the reverse castle. But to this day, many secrets can be found stored in the game's memory. In today's video, we're going to try to unlock some of those secrets, so I hope you'll join me as we take a tour around the castle and find some hidden artifacts in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. We all know how Death loves to give lectures. When Alucard defeats Death in the Reverse Castle, he simply disappears. But it appears as though more dialogue was intended to be heard after his defeat. Your master has grown strong indeed! It's possible that the voiceover was removed due to the fact that Death was in his final form. In the prologue stage, Maria pops in to help Richter if he loses his entire life bar. She screeches something before casting a spell to fully cure him. It seems that an alternative speech sequence was recorded. <laughs> You're too hard. It was likely replaced because the sentence doesn't quite make sense in the context of what's happening. In the Japanese version, the priest in the royal chapel speaks while Alucard sits down, but there's nothing to be heard in the US version. There was, however, an English voiceover recorded, indicating that the priest was actually intended to speak. Come, son, rest here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It was likely removed due to its religious connotations, but it remains embedded amongst the voice data. Our next discovery brings us to the front of the castle. Did you ever notice this small plate just in front of the entrance? Is it just a decoration, or does it have some useful purpose? By modifying the player's Y-axis, we're able to push Alucard downward, revealing this small tunnel, and further over is a save point. There's not much to see here, but when we go back up, we can see the tunnel has this opening animation. This suggests that the area was intended to be used at some point, but was perhaps scrapped due to lack of time. If we compare this to the Sega Saturn version, which was released later, we can see here that the tunnel leads to an entire subsection, complete with its own mini-boss. Our next discovery takes us to the title screen. By entering a memory modifier, we're able to start the game from a debug area. This area is rather uneventful, as it consists of empty rooms and random blocks, but suddenly a rather long-winded story from the Japanese voice actor Joji Yanami begins to play in the background. It's fascinating to hear this voice transcript, and it reminds us that the voice actors had typical day-to-day -day lives just like everyone else. Buried within the game's code are several animations of Richter Belmont that were never intended to be used. This first one shows Richter doing some kind of twisty flip, and the next one shows him getting electrocuted. It's shocking that this one was removed, as it looks very unique. This one shows several unused color palettes. Although it's possible that Richter was supposed to be a solid color, based on certain power-ups, there's also a possibility that he was supposed to be multicolored, as you can see here. There are many mysterious graphical tile sets hidden in the game's memory. This first one has some artifacts from the hidden debug area that we saw earlier. But if we piece them together, we see this big hunk of ham, along with this pink ball, and some Japanese text which translates to the word boss. This next tile set also appears to be from the debug area. There's not much to see here, but if we piece these bottom tiles together, it reveals this rather sinister looking character, and below is a pile of gold. I think we could bank on the idea that this was a boss character that was ultimately scrapped. Did you know about these hidden secrets? Is there something else hidden in Castlevania that only you know about? 
I'd love to hear from you, so please let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next Pixel Discoveries video.